just kind of wanted to get a full shot of the sleeping bag really quick. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. I'm excited to use it, but as far as what you get and how it looks and the quality from first impression looks pretty good. So I'm excited to use it. I just wanted to get you guys kind of a full look of what the bag looks like. All right, so we have a down sleeping bag by uh, Zatinli. Can't really pronounce that correctly, um, but this was provided to me in exchange for this video. So we're gonna do an unboxing video, kind of show you guys what all comes in the sleeping bag and kind of my first impressions of it, how I like it. So as you can see right here, this is the uh, regular version um, and it says it goes down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm going to be completely honest, just based on the size of this box, I probably wouldn't go below 30, like maybe around 50, just because of how small this bag is. As you can see here so far with this box um, and how this is packaged, it comes packaged up pretty nicely. Uh, then we have our instruction manual as well that comes in the box. All right, so based just on first impressions, I do like that it comes with this compression sack and it does look like I could tighten this a little bit more, but I am gonna say this might be um, as big as it can go. We can see right here, we have another gauge right here on the bottom and that doubles as a handle, which is gonna be nice when you're pulling this out of whatever bag that you have packed in here. If you stuff this vertical, you can pull that out. One thing I don't necessarily like right away is that all of these compression straps, none of them have like a buckle to unclip it. So you are basically gonna have to completely undo one side to get this open, which I mean, not a big deal. This isn't the first sleeping bag that I've seen kind of have this problem. I guess it's not really that big of a problem. You just undo one or two sides and get it undone, but all right, so this material, I don't know if you can hear that. It does feel a little plasticky, but for what is supposed to be a down sleeping bag, that's supposed to be kind of a lightweight down sleeping bag, and it does say down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, I haven't slept with this bag, so I can't confirm that, but this does feel, this is a, pretty big sleeping bag and as you can see here it is kind of mummy-esque it's not now according to the directions it does look like a, it's supposed to be a mummy bag so maybe now the zippers are um, if you can see that SBS so they're not YKK zippers but you can fully unzip. We can see here down at the bottom, you have a toe box zipper, which is really nice, especially if you kind of tend to overheat, um, if you want to undo that. But there's a lot of down in this sleeping bag. I can feel a lot, there's a lot. And you can see all the zippers are kind of, where the zippers are has this reinforced um, material. So you're not going to rip you know, if the zipper gets snagged, it's not going to get snagged on this more delicate kind of plastic material. It's going to get snagged um, on this material that's much thicker, which is good. Like, that's a good thing. First impressions with the um, Zenissi Outdoor Collection down sleeping bag is I'm impressed. I'm impressed by this because this is a, there is a lot of down in here. I don't See if we can figure out what kind of down this is. Yeah, just what I was thinking. If you look here, the comfort level is down to 41 is what this says. And the limit is 30. So you would survive going down to 30 with this sleeping bag. But really, that's too cold um, for just this sleeping bag. So the sleeping bag does actually come with this bag here, I guess, is to just kind of stuff it in. But then it also comes with this compression sack, which is pretty cool. Up at the top, we do have um, this because this is a mummy style bag. So you can pull this up over your head. As you can see, it is oval at the top. It's not a cut flat, 
but overall first impressions i'm impressed with this sleeping bag um the material on the inside this is something i actually really think is cool especially when, like these like lighter uh down bags from some of these brands you might not have heard of before but the outside is this like plasticky material in the inside the inside of this is is while it's not like the softest material it is a different material you can even see based on the lighting that the inside is a different material so while i still would recommend um that you get a bag liner just like with any type of sleeping bag uh use a bag liner it's going to be a lot easier to clean and you don't have to worry about dirt and oil and all that on your sleeping bag but because this is a different material on the inside you might be able to get away without a liner necessarily um especially if you're trying to go like ultra light because this is a thicker bag so i really like this this material is going to be nicer on your skin than the inside like i've seen some bags race the same with this same material on the inside and it's not as nice but this is a nicer material for your skin so i gotta say i'm impressed it we just have oh so this is duck down it says right here duck down right there and i like that we have like the comfort risk level all on the outside of the sleeping bag so I'm impressed with this sleeping bag. This is gonna be going with me on my next camping trip. Um, I'm excited to excited to use it.